junior college. Uh, I was just looking for a place where I uh, could get an opportunity, and I wanted to be an EMIAA, and uh, Lincoln was a good fit, close to home, and uh, this was just a, a good place for me to finish up my, uh, my college career. My favorite uh, memory as a player was definitely probably my junior year. We beat UCM after uh, taking a tough loss in the first game, and then we came back and had a, uh, a little bit of a nail biter, and we came back and beat them, and that was a, a big one for us as a team. Yeah, in my two years here playing, it was. Uh, it was definitely a step up from junior college because it was, teams were much more fine-tuned. I mean, I was playing uh, better pitchers, you know. In junior college, you see throwers, and here, and they being in the MIAA, it was uh, the best competition I'd seen uh, to that point, without a doubt. Oh, definitely. I still live with Ben Stewart. Uh, a guy who uh, I played with both my years here. He's one of the best hitters I've played with at any level. Um, he's my roommate. Uh, Andrew St. Pierre's a guy I stay in touch with. Uh, but yeah, there's a handful of guys that uh, I'm still in close contact with. A baseball season's a, a, as you've heard any baseball player ever say, it's a grind. Um, and uh, being around the same group of guys can sometimes be a good thing and sometimes can be a bad thing, but uh, you definitely uh, grow closer and that's you know, I was never in the uh, fraternity life, but baseball is its own fraternity, so I'll definitely be in touch with those guys for probably the rest of my life. Uh, the classes were great. I learned a lot being in the business program here. Um, Dr. Burgess was my uh, administrator, my uh, counselor, and, and I wrote up, I think, three or four different uh, business plans in my last year, so I definitely uh, learn a lot in the classroom and, and I have a, a high regard for those professors. Yeah, definitely. I, I learned how to uh, kind of handle the group dynamic uh, in the workplace, which translates directly to baseball and uh, so being in the business school definitely was uh, something that translated straight to the baseball field as a coach. Yeah, that was definitely uh, being here, even my junior year coming in, uh, getting to move on to the next level was always the goal. Um, I wanted the team to do well, but always in the back of my mind, my personal goals were there too. And, uh, and I got fortunate enough to uh, get the opportunity to continue playing, and I got to do that a little bit and still am. Well, last year uh, I went up to Lake Erie Crushers. I was there for about half the year. I got hurt in spring training, um, but it was definitely a, a step up in, uh, in competition and uh, getting to play there. And, but I, I, I think I belonged, and I'm fortunate enough to get another opportunity this year, so uh, hopefully it'll, it'll go a little bit better and I can stay healthy. Uh, it's it's great. I mean, it's hard work. It's it's not. Uh, if you'd asked me in high school, I'd have thought it'd been a lot more glamorous. But it's it's hard work, man. It's every day for 10, 12 hours at least. You're up at the field, and uh, but I mean, to get to play baseball and call that my job for any period of time is a is a privilege. Yeah, definitely playing the MIAA was huge for me because it made me. Uh, Learned me as a hitter how to uh, approach at bats, and it made me ten times better as a hitter because guys in this league can really pitch. Yeah, I uh, being it up in Lake Erie, my first week there, I had a good good first week of spring training, um, and I had you know a number of guys ask me when I was drafted, and I was never actually drafted, but it's nice to to get asked that because then I know I'm the caliber of player that I need to be to be at that level. So that was a, a very vindicating vindicating thing to hear. Uh, well, I was fortunate uh, to get involved uh, coaching here because uh, Coach D'Amelia, uh, I got to talk to him, I think, the day after he was hired, and uh, he was maybe a little ap apprehensive about having me around because he didn't know me at all, but he gave me a shot, and I kind of earned my due, and now we've got a great relationship, and I just, I'm just i lucky to get the opportunity to learn from him every day and, and uh, be around this great team.
I wanted to coach here. I like Lincoln. I love, I love all the people I've been around here, teachers, players, coaches. I mean, I've had very few bad experiences here. And uh, even though Lincoln baseball hasn't been too successful in my time here, we're uh, in the process of turning that around. So it's kind of exciting to see, uh, see the transition that we're going through. Uh, it's all about the culture here when I was playing wasn't great, but uh, Coach Demilia coming in, I mean, it's been a, a 180 turn. I mean, with everything we do, it, it's, we're upbeat. You guys need to do things the right way, be on time, and, and we're, it's not even necessarily about doing things on the field the right way. It's about living our lives as men the right way, and uh, that translates to uh, doing things right on the baseball field. Uh, as a Blue Tiger, it, it means that you're a hardworking guy. I mean, at this school, you're not given anything. I mean, we're in a tough conference, and uh, you've got to earn everything. And I think uh, not only on the baseball team, but just in this entire uh, athletic program, um, I think we're full of hardworking people and blue-collar mindset, and, and that's what we're about. And I think that's, that's what it is to be a Blue Tiger.